Sheriff Peglin is an American artist working in the landscape tradition. What makes him unusual is that he is both an artist and a geographer. He uses maps, uh, he uses GPS, he uses technologies that help him to locate his subject many of which are at a great distance uh, physically from any capacity of being seen. I'm John Jacob. I'm McAvoy Family Curator for Photography at the Smithsonian American Art Museum, and I am the curator of Trevor Paglin, Sights Unseen. What he's trying to do, in part with his work, is show us something that is otherwise difficult to see, and by showing it to us, by letting us see it, we are better able to know it and thereby to speak about it. When visitors come into the exhibition, the primary thing that they're going to see is, is photographs. We will present Trevor's early photographic series in which he documented the landscape of secrecy on land, under sea, in the sky and in the heavens. But we'll also be presenting those in relation to other uh, material that he creates. He produces three bodies of work. One is the photographic series. Another is what you might call research artifacts that he obtains through the public domain and through Freedom of Information Act requests. And these are essentially declassified images and documents that he incorporates into his artwork. And the third body of work is Trevor's objects, which he calls impossible objects. They're, they're intended to make us think sort of beyond what the photographs and the research objects have shown by helping us to imagine a present or a future where the technologies he's showing us are not dictated by the demands of, of the landscape of secrecy and by surveillance. I think it's important in looking at Trevor's work that he, he's standing in the landscape from in a lawful position. Once we see the situation of our current historical moment and begin to know it and understand it better, perhaps we can act on it as well.